first I was 2500 or something with labor and then I had it back in the shop for some other work and at first I thought I had a ruptured EGR valve however I got it in the shop and they did extensive testing they find that my head gaskets are bad so when I found out my head gaskets were blown I wasn't that surprised because it's a 6-0 right I basically knew this day was coming from the day I bought this truck but when I got the news about the head gasket originally she quoted me at about 8,000 to say if the heads weren't bad and about 10,000 give or take if the heads were bad so I was like okay well I didn't really have the money at the time when I first heard about it I was like okay well um, I need to save a little more money and you know kind of clear my head and then think about this a little bit but she found out we found out that we couldn't really move it when she found out about the head gasket it was already to the point of okay we can't drive it because uh, we don't want to blow the, the heads anymore, wreck the heads anymore. Because the truck still ran, but after all the testing, she found out it was way worse than the first we thought it was. First, she said, okay, I'm about six weeks out. Uh, can you move the truck from my place? Or is that, that going to cost you extra money? And I said, no, I, or yeah, I don't have AAA or anything like that. So it's going to come out of my pocket. So she said, okay, well, I think I can make arrangements. So she cleared out some of her trucks and she able to keep mine there. And so it's been in the shop with the head gasket problem for, uh, I would say at least three months. I don't even remember the date that I dropped it off. But anyway, it's been in the shop for a very long time. All right, no more leaving you hanging. Before I finish this video, I'm going to show you how much it cost me to get my head gasket done on this 6.0 here. And we're also gonna talk about what all she did when she was in there. All right, so I am looking at a lot of new stuff here. So first of all, she did my turbo. Uh, that was back in August. I just saw my, my invoice and it was like August 26th when I got that back. And I don't remember the time that passed in between uh, then and then when it went in for the head gasket but it wasn't very long it wasn't more than 
a month at the most. I would say it's a, probably a week or two um, where I started, maybe it was a month, but anyway, I started, uh, I got it back from the turbo and I was like, okay, I was excited. Um, I got all this new stuff, it should run good. Well, it still had issues. And that's when I had it back in the shop because it's like, okay, what are these issues going on here? This shouldn't be happening. So got it back in the shop. I, I, like I said, I thought it was the ruptured EGR valve. Well, I got it back in the shop and after, I don't know, a week of testing or more, she comes back and says, well, you're showing early signs of a blown head gasket. So really the only way forward is to replace, you know, do the head gasket work. And she said, you might get a, you know, a few more weeks out of it, whatever, um, flight driving, but I wouldn't really bank on that. Anyway, um, I was gonna get it back until she tried, she replaced the injector. There was one of the injectors was bad. She replaced the injector and then she went to start it up and it was still smoking and it was, it ended up even being worse than it was. And she said, you know, we got to do this head gasket right now. We can't just keep putting this off. So I was like, okay, well, yeah, get it on your schedule. So the majority of what she did, the two big things anyway, are of course the head gaskets, head studs, and she also replaced my injectors, which I told her if, if there was any sign of them being uh, bad or close to bad, just replace them, you know, because I wanted I don't want her to be in there anytime soon. So she replaced the injectors, and then as you can see, there's some new seals. She basically, re she ended up having this engine all the way out. I don't know if that was intended originally, but she had the engine all the way out, um, and she, she cleaned everything, obviously. Everything looks super nice. Uh, she she replaced all the gaskets that would leak potentially So this here is a list of the parts head gaskets all eight injectors uh, Eight new glow plugs um, Bulletproof EGR cooler updated oil cooler all seals o-rings gaskets uh, Yeah, I can't read all that but exhaust manifold bolts um, up pipe that's so you can see there that is a lot of stuff and then just to have the head surfaced just to, or just to have them checked and surfaced was $550 now that is twice what she paid the previous time she did them so that is very um, incredible that that came up that much but it's just what it is so that is just parts so we're talking 8300 in parts now we take 8,300 just in parts, and that's not including her time. Now she charges 120 an hour, which is pretty fair for a diesel shop. And automatically, well, she told me a 40 hour job, which uh, it, it's a time consuming job. I understand that. So if you take the 8,300 in parts, and then you add 40 hours times 120 an hour, that brings it up to 4,800 just for the, uh, the time. Now, when you add those together, my total bill was $13,765 for this this truck to get the head gaskets done. So, we're at $13,700 without the heads. So, I couldn't even begin to imagine what it would be if the heads were bad. So, uh, that is a crazy price. And I think that, I mean, most of that is due to how much parts have skyrocketed in, in the last year. A couple years ago, this same job probably would have been a ten, eight or ten thousand dollar job, but you you can't you can't get that these days. Everything is just incredibly expensive, and there's just no getting around that. And I am not blaming her. She is a very good mechanic. She specialized in these power stroke diesels, but what is outrageous is how much the parts have gone up. Eighty three hundred just in parts like that. That is just, um, it's crazy. A total of 13765 for this job in 2023. Um, that's obviously more than I was hoping or expecting, but what do you do? I'm, I'm not one to complain about prices. I know that she wasn't jacking me, so it's just what it cost. And I'm really hoping from now, from this day forward, this truck will do me for a while. Um, there is a two-year warranty on everything she did, so that gives me, two, gives me two years if anything does happen. But I'm really hoping nothing happens because I need to get this truck back to work and start making some money again. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.